Education. It's a right that everybody deserves, but in the school district of Philadelphia, the lack of funds has made it harder to get a full education. The way I see my students is that, you know, they're going to leave this institution and now they have to go out into the big, beautiful, ugly world and try to survive. Um, so, you know, whatever is learned behind these doors is something that, you know, these students are going to have to carry with them into the world. In 2014, the district had some of the worst cuts yet, resulting in the canceled teacher contracts along with other detrimental effects. The school district only allowed to each school the exact amount of money to uh, make up for the student-teacher ratio. So there's exactly enough money to maximize the number of students in the classroom with the minimal amount of teachers to, to, to service them. And it really uh, creates more harm than good, although it's out of a lot of people's hands. It hurts a professional to not be able to do what to do the job the way they know it's meant to be done um, in the way that it's meant to be done in the way that it will work best it hurts that professional to not be able to do that due to money and um, and that's primarily what's happened and it's really sad in the city of art why is it that the district looks at cutting the arts as a financial solution? It is hypocritical to kind of emphasize the importance of arts in the public eye, and then behind the scenes we're taking away art because it's saving money. If I went to a school that told me that being creative is wrong, I would feel very discouraged and I would probably end up forgetting it and probably go to one of those cubicle jobs like for the rest of my life just because of how like discouraged everyone makes me because when it's an authority figure telling you like no cre being creative is wrong and you're an adolescent you're gonna be like okay like they know from experience maybe I should listen to them and that's not fair some may argue that the arts have no scholarly value but is that really the case I don't think that at all. I think Some that of if the anything, people are. Yeah, creative. I think if anything, like they, like they even complement each other. Yeah. Because like it's like uh, while it's important to like focus on one thing, like focusing on one thing too much, like is not good. You need to find a balance between both of them, which I think is something that people still need to learn. But the balance needs to be there. Like you can't be a well-rounded person based entirely off of academics and you can't be a well-rounded person based entirely off of arts. You need to find a balance and like they, if you do find a right balance then they, they complement each other. You've got to teach the entire child. You know, it's not just about academics, it's not just about your art. Uh, a lot of it's just about dealing with adverse situations, um, not making excuses and getting things done. Uh, there's a lot of lifelong skills, interpersonal skills, career awareness skills, college preparatory skills that you get in high school that are going to stick with you forever. Uh, you're not going to remember every fact, every algebraic formula, uh, everything, all the terminology maybe from your art area, uh, but you got to know a little bit about everything. Uh, to be successful and you got to know how to deal with situations and um, you know, make the best of situations and just you know be the best you can be at what it is you do and be happy doing it. What is the importance of art then? Uh, and so art, you know, I see it everywhere. It's, it's, it's in everything we do. Every painting has a painter. Every building has a builder. Every song has a composer. Every book has an author. Every city has a planner. Say every person who was an artist involved in any aspect of art and went on strike. Matter of fact, I think not just art teachers, but anybody who does anything that involves creativity, okay? If, if the world would stop, 
okay? The city would stop. Can you imagine that if everyone involved in the arts went on strike for one day, okay? Um, in the entire world or even a city, okay? That would paralyze the people. Is it worth it to value art? Yes. Uh, in lots of ways. Yes, yes. art is worth it. Oh my God. Extremely. Well, absolutely. You'll find a way to do it. Like despite budget cuts or despite like anything. Just keep being you. Don't let anyone get you down.